That's funny. So yeah, you know, the tank and the rhino, the super jump, unlimited ammo. Look at that, prostitutes pay you. They even have that cheat on there. <laughs> hell yeah. That's what I'm, I'm gonna keep this in there just for the hell of it. Shoot. Bam. This was good shit right here. Damn. Love it. Even though I own the game on HD on the 360. Always good to have a Grand Theft game. Psychonauts. You always hear good stuff about this game, even though I know nothing about it. Wow. Look at that. Complete in box. Good condition. Great. Perfect. I couldn't ask for more. Crimson Skies. What is this? Oh, so it's supposed to be like, um, you know, one of those airplane shooter games. I've always seen it in passing, but it never caught my eye. It's one of those games I don't think really sold. But it was only on Xbox. Pretty new, good condition. Put that to the side. Here we go. I had a Mech Assault 2 earlier. It's only right to have the Mech Assault 1. Ooh! What's this? Look at that. I've got two Mech Assault games in there. One greatest hits, one not so greatest hits. And this one is kind of beat up, so I guess they put the greatest hits in there for you to play and the regular edition for you to keep. I don't know. So, Mech Assault, you know, some people like it, some people hate it. I don't have an opinion. <laughs> Here we go. Ooh, I remember this. This is that uh, double pack that came with the Xbox. Sega GT and Jet Set Radio in one. Not for resale type of thing. And people still sold it. That was the funny thing about it. Or GameStop still sold it. I wonder why they never sued the hell out of them for that. Ooh, I didn't know that, that it was both games in one disc, too. You don't see that a lot. Alright. Look, I got two copies of Red Dead Revolver. So, there's a backup disc right there. Keep that on the side. Yeah, it's getting way up there now. You can't, probably you can't even see me anymore. Splinter Cell. Everyone knows this game. It's like Metal Gear Solid wannabe. And uh, I get a copy of Ghost Recon 2 up in there, though. So I had to put that to the side. I mean, I guess it's still a Tom Clancy's game, so you know. I don't know what that'll happen. That'll stay on the side somewhere. Ooh. Spirals. Hero's Tale. They made a hell of a lot of spiral games. I don't know what to say. Look at that. Even came from my old job. Hollywood Videos. No wonder it's so beat up. Because people beat shit up. When they rent. So, we got the spiral game. Look at that. I already own a copy of this. Halo game of the year. So I guess it's good to have two. Just in case it just starts rotting or something. I don't know. So, Halo, you guys all know this. Yeah. Oh, yes. This is what I needed. I was collecting a lot of SNK games. For some reason, GameStop did never want to drop the price on this game game was always for like $30. So hopefully this metal slug is in decent condition. It is. Has a little scuffs here and there, but that could be fixed. So, 
Metal Slug it is. Happy to have that. And this was exclusive to Xbox, too. Hell yeah. Outlaw Golf. They got a gossip game. So, good condition. What could I say? It was a golf game. Except, you know, you play as like girls in skimpy outfits and stuff. Yep. They made one called Outlaw Volleyball to kind of copy the Dead or Alive one, too. It's, you know, Sex Sells. FIFA Street. See? Now I have all the street games now. I got the NBA Street. I got the NFL. Now I got FIFA. That makes all the street games that I have now. So that works out. Ooh, in good condition, too. Really nice. Alright. Sims 2. Not a big fan of Sims. They make, I feel like they make too many of them. Not really much you do in the games. You know, this is probably the first Sims game I actually even owned. Not much to say about it, you know? Not much. Hell yeah. I needed this game right here. Soul Calibur. With spawn up in there, man. They didn't, they need to do more stuff like that. Like I felt like back then when it was the three main consoles, Xbox, GameCube, PS2, like they spent time making all these good exclusives, like Spawn on the Xbox, Hey Hachi on PS2, Link on GameCube. That was great. They need to do that again with another game. So that was good. Oh yeah, so I've got the actual copy of Jet Set Radio Future, which is good to have, because it's not the one mixed up with the, you know, Sega 2000 game. This is in good quality, love the only on Xbox sticker, holographic, very nice. Midtown Madness, i always seen this game around. I guess it's supposed to be like a burnout or something like that, I don't know. One of those racing games that never caught my eye. But it was the only on Xbox. Very good to have. Great condition. So, Midtown Madness 3. I never even heard of the first one. Oh, I'm happy about this right here. Kinda, even though the box is kinda beat up. But, but the graphics are really good in this game. Anyways, next up, Mace Griffin. I don't know what this game is about, but, oh shit. It's in a decent condition. Mace Griffin. I never heard of this game before. It looks like one of the low quality games. It's got the Return to Castle Wolfenstein. All right. Good quality. Never played the Wolfenstein series till like the one that came out on Xbox One. And I loved it. Can't wait till the next one comes out. So that was good. Blinks. Got another game that's only on Xbox. See, Xbox had a lot of these like original titles. It's like Microsoft actually had a lot of good ideas at the time. It's almost like one of those trying to be Crash Bandicoot type of stuff. So next up, Max Payne 2. Now, I own both of those on, uh, ooh, this is like brand new. I own both of these on PlayStation. So, good to have a copy. And last but not least, I have two copies of Super Monkey Ball. And I know nothing about this game. I guess it's like a puzzle game? This is in great condition. Too damn good. 
comes with everything. And the second one, also in great condition. Wonder why there was two in the first place. Got two copies of those. And that makes the last of the last of everything. Well, thank you guys for hanging on to watching this. I know it gets kind of boring, but um, let me see how many games I actually got from this. I know a couple of them doesn't have the game in there, so. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 'ption of a couple games not in there I got about maybe 90 well these have games in there they're just broken with the exception of the other ones that didn't have any games I got about 98 games all together not bad three hundred dollars for all this so tell me what you think thank you for everything thank you for watching till the next haul that I get Stay tuned.